Okay, we're now going to begin painting the, the, the green parts using the set of paints from the green mecha color set from Meg Emma. And like I mentioned before, I've decided to paint the inside of the green armor, which are these parts, using dull green. Now, at first, what I did was I, I put a little, a few drops, just for a test. And I was going to use this, but I'm actually very down, you know, almost done with this. Um, I, I said, do I have any more acrylic thinner? Some people say you could use water. But I forgot that I had this one, Tamiya Color Acrylic Paint X20. So I put five drops, this is for a test run. So I put five drops of the dull green and five dots of the acrylic, of the um, thinner. And we're gonna try this. goes down nice and smooth. All right, that's good. Let's do some, um, let's do this big guy right here. I'm not gonna waste my time doing on everything. I just wanna show you how it is. Good. That looks good. So let me finish up and then uh, I'll, let me just finish up with the remaining parts and then I'm going to do something else with this color. So I let it dry about a good maybe half an hour or so and now I'm just going to give it a light pass over it to give it the overall cover. So You should see the darkness going around the edges and the lining on that. So that looks okay. Let me do the bigger one. I've been meaning to use this green for a long time and right now this has been a, a very enjoyable paint to use. No, I forgot to turn on the this. I'm so excited. So using the um, the acrylic paint, uh, acrylic thinner from Tamiya, seems to work well. I will test out the other one in a minute, and I'm done with this already. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let this dry a bit, and I'm gonna continue on refill the reservoir. And continue on with the uh, with the inside of the plate. Once we're done with that, let's now move on to the next part. Will be the other green parts. All right. Now we're going to work on the other green color, which is the protective green color. We did the dull on the inside, but now we're going to do the protective green on the outside. And this is not only the armored plating, but also the other smaller um, green parts as well. Um, just before I began, I started to review all the parts again, and you gotta remember, even though I primed it black, certain particles, or you say like uh, droplets, came out of the reservoir onto the part, and it formed a little bulb, and 
you know, bulbous uh, drop there. Uh, I decided to get my three, uh, this uh, sanding pad, three uh, P3000, um, and I began lightly sanding down the area. And of course, when you do, you remove that that little droplet, but you also remove the edges. So I'm going to probably end up re-priming those parts again. So I put them to the side, and I'm only going to work with what I got. So again, the same technique as before. Painting on the inside. This one here, there's some droplets there, so I'll sand that down. Uh, these were okay, so let's work on these. This time I filled up more on the reservoir and I used um, acrylic thinner by Meg. And it definitely does its job. It really does. Pull out another part here that's not part of the armor. Just quickly do a review. Yeah, everything looks good. This is the the part for the leg, and I believe I'm gonna. Is that oh, that other part is for the leg as well? I think. Whoops. <clears throat> I have a lot of green parts to do this type of technique, so 
give me some time to oh there's some bubbles there so that one needs to be sanded down so let me give me some time to work with the parts that i've already completed and then we'll do an overall pass to finish it up so give me a minute okay so i have just finished spending a good portion of my time spray painting the plates with the second layer not realizing that i forgot to hit play on my camcorder i was setting up for this but let me just explain um i just finished painting these plates and i was holding them both at the same time and spraying them together so that way i can see the coverage and not make the mistake of saying oh my god this one's a little too darker than this one or i missed a section and whatnot but it has you know the coverage came out pretty good for these two um what a waste of t five minutes i did these two right here covers came out as well but no i noticed that's a little light there so let me just There we go. That should be fine. That oh, was a good video. I can't believe I, I forgot to hit play. <laughs> oh, man. What a day. Here's, a, here's the other two. This came out okay. The shading pretty came out pretty well. I think, let me see if I can do something similar. Like I was trying to do before and I didn't capture on camera uh, easily out oh, there it is is I'm going to spray the two parts like this and that's what I was doing with the plates but doing it this way just to make sure that both of them are even coverage there we go and I have to admit this green came out really nice Look at that. Nice, right? I'll try these two together. I've been looking for alternative painting and even though many people say I should try the um, Mecca colors from Vallejo I am really digging MIG ammo more than ever before I picked up that set at the um, at, at Mosquito Con a few months ago and I can't wait to try it on some uh, other kits. Let's see. The bottom part's a little too dark. There we go. There we go. That's nice. Hell, if I see this on sale again, or at, at another hobby store, I'm buying another pack of the, of the green. Really am. I've been thinking of actually um, redoing uh, one of the high-grade Zaku's from, not redoing, excuse me, um, building one, and using this type of color.
foot. Came out nice. It's a little darky there. There we go. Just little white hits. Let's see if I can do this one. to do this well, I guess I can do it So let me continue on finishing up the colors that I have here and the parts that I need to review and make sure they're done right. And then I'm going to move on to the next color, which will be the other um, gray parts. And what, what, and then the, the red and then the yellow. And then I may do some masking. So give me a few moments to prepare, okay?